Hello! Before we get started on this video, I want to let you know that I have a new album out. It's called Soul Trading, and it's the soundtrack that I composed for Canberra Youth Theatre's production of Soul Trading, a play by Australian playwright Kate Walder. It's out now on all online streaming services, and you can also purchase a copy on Bandcamp, or even a CD if you would like. There are links in the description to check it out, and also to check out Kate Walder's play. In this video, we're going to take a look at how I composed some of the music for Soul Trading, including some of the key themes that are woven throughout the album. When writing the music for this play, one of the really exciting things was the movement sequences. As part of the play, Soul Trading, there are three movement sequences throughout the story that are choreographed and have no dialogue. They're just an opportunity for the actors to move around on stage, tell the story physically, and also through the music which I was going to compose. For the first movement sequence, I wrote a track called The Daily Routine, and it features a key leitmotif or theme, a key melody that I wrote to use all throughout Soul Trading. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like in the daily routine. is a little minor key melody that I wrote and I thought it was quite fitting for the robotic nature of the robots in this play but also has a youthful energy which I think was fitting given that the play is about young children and their robot companions. I paired this melody in this track with some simple percussion, some clapping sticks, some small cymbals and at the end of this movement sequence the character Jerry who doesn't have a robot companion to help him get up and go through his morning routine wakes up late and quickly has to rush through his morning routine before going off to school and arriving late or rather just in the nick of time. For this moment and to represent the character of Jerry and his sense of wonder and freedom I altered the original leitmotif or melody and made what I like to call Jerry's theme. This theme follows a very similar pitch and rhythmic structure, but is slightly different. It sounds like this. And I frequently pair this melody with an accompanying chord progression, which evokes, I think, a sense of melancholy and really captures the feeling that I associate with this character. In particular, that 2 minor 7 flat 5 at the end of the progression really gives a sense of melancholy and longing and is a fantastic resolution back to the one chord in this progression. Here's what that theme sounds like in the context of the daily routine. For the second movement sequence in the play, the robots are without their human companions, so they begin to struggle with their daily functions. For this movement sequence, I composed the track Bots Without Purpose, where I use the original melodies from the daily routine, but I start to work in some malfunctioning sounds, have the melodies fail to complete, and start to degrade over time. This is what that sounds like. Final 
movement sequence, the children and the robots each have found a little bit more of their purpose and the conflict of the play has been resolved. The children and the robots end the play looking up into the stars and seeing these constellations form. So I wanted to use the melodies that I had composed to create this grand finale. And I think I did that quite effectively in my track Connected But Part Of Something Bigger. In this track, the chords are changed slightly and I alter the original melody to match those changing chord progressions. And we finally end on Jerry's theme and a counter melody alongside it. Sounds like this. synthesizer and at the end the guitar and trumpets playing that Jerry's theme very proudly and ending on that beautiful minor seven flat five chord at the very end. Hopefully throughout these three tracks you can hear that main theme that I composed being established, developed and eventually growing into something new and spectacular. But I don't just use this theme throughout those three tracks, I use it throughout the album. So if you're interested in hearing more and hearing how I use this theme throughout my soundtrack, take a listen to Soul Trading. There are links down in the description. If you're interested in more music and more music videos, subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.